I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see a small hands on or not see we are going to do a small hands on on uh, use case on how to get the count of values based on the key. This we will be doing in Cloud Data Proc and we will be submitting the job as PySpark. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I'll, I have logged into my Google Cloud Console. I opened my terminal. This is my terminal and this is the commands which we will be using in this demo. So first we will be creating a demo uh, GCS bucket named spark job. Using everything will be from gsutil command. I have created the data proc cluster. This is my data proc cluster running. Uh, this is my uh, data proc cluster which is running. It is a simple a single node cluster. A very straightforward. Uh, the jobs. We will be submitting the jobs from this job portal. So to do that, we will be using this submit job and US central region cluster will be the data proc demo one and the job type will be not spark or PySpark. So this main Python file, we will be getting it from the GCS bucket. Now I'll explain you what is the use case. So uh, that use this use case, which we are going to discuss, like I took this from Google Cloud Platform uh, GitHub repo from this training data analyst brand repo. So if you see like we will be going into this CD courses structure. So inside this CD, I have already cloned into my uh, editor uh, console. So if you see cloud and I'm going into my unstructured data. So inside this unstructured data, we'll be going on, we'll be opening this lab2.py and lab input.txt. This is my input. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'll club all the values based on the key value that is dog cat frog pig and that's it like based on this i'll club this values based on the key and then i'll get the count of those values so basically my final result will look something like this dog will have one two three four five six and dog six cat will be five and frog will be two and pig will be three so the like final result i'll get the respective key respective count of the values on it so to do that we'll be using this lab.py so i have created this pyspark dot job uh, job demo so this is my cloud storage bucket so i'll open this cloud terminal and just gs util mb gs i am making this uh, demo bucket PySpark job underscore demo and I'll be reading this and if you see GS util ls I can see that uh, PySpark job demo has been created it will be empty you can see this in the demo as well so just refresh on it it's me PySpark job underscore demo this is empty bucket so this is empty bucket we will now see uh, we will execute this uh, uh, shell script file so dot replace and upload as such so just click replay no first go navigate into that folder cd training data analysis and courses and structure now listed you can find this replace and upload dot as such run it replace not run it, and followed by the bucket name spice park job underscore demo so before executing it, we will see what is this replace dot uh, replace and upload dot ssh does. So if you see replace dot ssh replace and upload dot ssh does is so replace dot bucket name. It is asking for the bucket name which I have given PySpark job underscore demo, and it just copy all the files to that bucket folder. It create a folder called unstructured, and it will move all the folders. From this unstructured, it will move all the files, all the folders uh, to this uh, GCS bucket. Under it will create a uh, folder named unstructured. This is what this bucket will be doing. Um, modified photos, even photos also. If you see this photos also will be copied. This temp also will be copied. Everything will be copied into this GCS bucket. That is what this replace and upload dot shell script does. It will just copy this unstructured folder into gcs bucket it will create a folder called unstructured and it will copy all the files inside that so we can execute it so 
which started executing meanwhile i'll give you walkthrough on lab.2 py this is the python uh, file which we are going to execute it i had replaced this with pyspark job this is my bucket name i have replaced it with and this is the input file which i have already showed you lab 2.index it just split so basically if you see it splits on the comma the same way it splits on it and it uh, uh, reads it maps first it maps the value uh, according to the key and then it gives the count of it count by key that's it so if after the operation has been completed now we can go and see just refresh here once and we will be able to see unstructured so just go into it get the lab to dot py get the path of it and copy this part and paste inside this main python file that's it so rest everything uh, if you have made more files we have to give that in additional files and if we if any jar is included we can have to give this jar for this demo we will not be using those things just click on this submit yeah job successfully submitted if you see uh, you can find the job which is submitted under this cluster you can go there to the cluster click on this cluster click on this cluster under job tab you can find the necessary details so if you click on this obviously it will come it will take some 40 30 minutes 40 30 seconds so once that is done i'll come it has started so once this completed i'll so i'll fast forward my video till it gets completed yeah the job has been completed so you can find that 10 job details so inside this jobs you can find this this is our job id uh, us central one PySpark cluster name is data proc demo 01 and it took 13 seconds to complete this job so data proc demo 01 just click on this job you can find the results here so i'm just expanding it and uh, yeah if you see here dog totally has six cat has five frog has two and pig has three first it get all the value into the list then uh, respective key and respective value of that dog name and respective all the other things for uh, like all the other things has been done here and finally the count so this is how we will be submitting PySpark job from uh, from the console the same way we can do it using client libraries as well as uh, cloud console as well as from G cloud command line tool also so that's it for today's video I hope you learned something new out of this video and there are different types of jobs like PySpark spark uh, spark or SQL and there are other different types of job in upcoming videos I'll show you how to run different types of jobs uh, using G cloud and using console and even using cloud client libraries as well so if you have any questions any doubts please uh, post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible uh, please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon i'll meet you on the next video with new interesting content until then it's bye from Vignesh. happy learning